What's going on, y'all? Today, uh, me and uh, me and Max are here in Lockhart, Texas. We're gonna be cooking on this yakitori grill made by Millscale. Uh, tell me a little bit about it, Max. Um, all right, this is one of my favorite pieces from Millscale Metalworks. It's the uh, yakitori grill lined with refractory panel. Has multi-level cook surfaces. Um, it's one of the smaller rigs from Millscale, uh, which I love. You know, it's it's you're able to lift and carry it with you know maybe one other person, and you're able to use a really small amount of charcoal in here and generate a ton of heat. So great for cooking things at a really high temperature, um, getting really good color on them, and you've got these awesome uh, like upper levels to to put stuff once once you're done. Nice. Well, let's get cooking. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm just gonna dump some uh, charcoal into this chimney. Uh, what do you think, Max? Uh, I think going all the way up. Yeah, you can fill it almost all the way up. Oh. Um, yeah, we're gonna get this charcoal going in the chimney. We have a, a tumbleweed from our friends over at Nomad Grills underneath the charcoal here. Really easy to light, and it'll keep going and get all of this charcoal nice and lit for us. Alrighty, so we got the uh, charcoal popping off over here. Um, we're ready to start prepping these mushrooms. Mushroom Max is gonna tell you all about these mushrooms. So all right. Um, all right, we have an awesome selection of mushrooms here from our friends over at Small Hold. A uh, huge variety of colors, textures, different different flavors coming from all these mushrooms. We're gonna do them really simply on the Akatori grill, brushed in a little bit of uh, soy sauce and chicken stock, seasoned with a little salt and pepper, and, and that's it. Nice. That's, that sounds like a brisket. Hey, I uh, learned from the best. Number one in the world. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, cool. Sweet. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. Max is gonna pour them up in the um, grill, and uh, what are you looking for when you're doing that? Um, you know, you want to make sure all the all the coals have had a chance to really, you know, ignite. You, all of them are pretty either red or, or white. We might have to add a little more charcoal on top, but I, I think we've got a good base at least for okay. right now. Nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump them. Sorry, I got out of the way of the, the ash. Oh yeah. All right. Um, yeah, I think we could do like maybe one more handful in here, yeah, and we're yeah. we're good to go. Okay. Cool. And then we just uh, load the put the grates back where they were, and then load the mushrooms on. Yep. That's All it. Alrighty. Let's do it. We got the grills place where we want them. We added a little bit more coal. That's looking really nice. Let's load these mushrooms. All right, we're gonna go in with all the mushrooms. And what are you, what are you looking for when you're loading them like this? Um, you know, you just want to give them enough space where you know nothing's like sitting on top of each other. They can be pretty close side by side, but you just want to make sure they have direct contact with the grill grate. Nice, nice. And you want to start? You want to start them at the bottom first, and then uh, kind of work your way up, or are you keeping them all the way down there till they're done? Um, I would say keep them down here until um, there's a good amount of color on them. And uh, after you've got some color, you can totally kick them up to the top shelf okay, and, nice. and let, them, let them go a little slower. Nice. So it's hot and fast like a brisket. Exactly like a brisket. <laughs> hot and fast, around the coals. Exactly. <laughs> um, what's your favorite kind of mushroom, Johnny? Oh, shit. Um, the... I don't even know, honest. Um, shiitake. Shiitake? <laughs> shiitake. That was the only one I know, I think. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. I can't say my favorite kind on camera. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Mushroom Max. Mushroom Max. Just eat me 
How you doing? Good seeing you, bro. Yeah, good seeing you too. What we got going on here? Jason, I heard you were a mushroom fan, so uh, we're gonna do some, <laughs> uh, do a little sampling of our grilled mushrooms here. You know, Johnny and I think these are great, but it doesn't really matter if the if nobody else does. I'm not a mushroom fan, but I trust you, Max. Let's, All right, let's try it. Let's do it. Let's go let's over to the cutting it. board. Yeah. Let's try it out. All right, let's try these out. All right, let's do it. We were wondering how much these uh, tasted like uh, alligator. Yeah. What do you think? If it tastes like alligator, I probably will like it, but <laughs> I'm kind of nervous about this, honestly. <laughs> I'm not a mushroom All right. fan. All right. Cheers, y'all. Cheers, cheers, fellas. Cheers. Pretty good. Mm. It's got a real, like, meaty, meaty flavor to it. Definitely picked up a lot of the that like, grilled charcoal flavor, for yeah. sure. That was really good. Yeah, that, that glaze too. It, it's just, just like that, that finish and touch. It's really good. Awesome. Oh, yeah. You might have converted me to a mushroom fan. All right, my job is done. <laughs> there we go. All right. This is the whole setup. They're all done, right? Yeah, ready to go. Uh, the mushrooms are fully cooked um, only on the yakitori grill. We yeah. did them really hot and fast and then put them up on that top rack and let them slow roast for probably another 10, 15 minutes. How do you know? How do you how do you know they're done? Just by the color? Um, just by yeah. Looking at them. Uh, there's a lot. The color tells you a lot, but also they'll start to kind of let their moisture out. So when mm -hmm. you see, you know, the water that's inside the mushroom starting to come to the surface, you know that that they're either really close to done or or they're done. Okay, nice, nice. And what, what do we what do we got here? Uh, we just have a couple different kind of uh, Asian sauces, and you know these are what what we like to eat with the with the lettuce wraps. But you can definitely branch out and do any sauces you have in your pantry, any sauce that you like to have with this kind of thing. Um, definitely a preference based thing for sure. Nice, nice. Um, and you said it tastes just like uh, chicken? Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> no, yeah, uh, like alligator. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Um, all right, can, can I make you a lettuce wrap, yeah, Johnny? Yeah, yeah. All right, so I like to start with a little piece of lettuce, take a little piece of mushroom, tear it off in the lettuce. A little bit of this stuff. It's got some cilantro, some shallot, and carrot in it. A little bit of fish sauce. Then a little bit of this peanut butter sauce with some fried shallots on oh, top. Man, that looks delicious. All right. All righty, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching, Max and Jerby. Um, we're about to chow down into these. You got anything else for them? Um, special thanks to Mill Scale, to Nomad Grills, and to Small Hold Mushrooms, and our special guest, uh, Jason from Gonzo Smokehouse. Yep. Let's eat these uh, mushroom lettuce right. wraps. Yeah, let's go, Mushroom Max. <laughs> I like it. Pretty good. <laughs> Not throwing this one away.